What's going on guys, Rye Flawless here, and today we're going to be talking about the Pokemon that will be exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And there will be no spoilers here, all the Pokemon that I am talking about have been confirmed for the game, and this will just be going over which ones are exclusive to which title. And I won't be talking about any of the new forms, uh, the past and future forms, which we only got the trailer of the, the Dawn fan that will have an exclusive form in both Scarlet and Violet. So we're not really going to go into that, just the actual Pokemon that are exclusive to each version. But without further ado, let's talk about what's new in the world of Pokemon. All right, first let's talk about the Pokemon that will be exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet. So starting off, we're going to look at Armor Rouge, which is a new Pokemon that will be exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet. After that, we have the Bronzong line, so Bronzor and Bronzong. And then we have the new Cover Legendary, which is Coridon. And then we have some heavy hitters here, the Larvitar line or Tyranitar line, which is Larvitar, Pupitar, and Tyranitar. And last but not least for Scarlet, we have Stonejourner. Now let's look at the Pokemon Violet exclusives. So first off, we have the Salamence line. So Bagon, Shellgon, and Salamence. Then we have the new exclusive Suraledge, which is like Armor Rouge, but in violet we have this nice deep violet color Pokemon that has swords instead of the cannons that Armor Rouge has. Then we have Eskew. And then, of course, our cover Legendary, which is Miraidon. And then last but not least, we have the Poltegeist line, which is Sinistee and Poltegeist. Now let's make things interesting. Looking at these lists of exclusive, which game do I think is the better of the two just based on these Pokemon? At face value, I would honestly say that Scarlet looks to be the better version. Because me looking at from a VGC standpoint or competitive standpoint, Bronzor and Bronzong, or, the, or Bronzon in particular, will be good in VGC for a Trick Room setter. And I've actually already talked about Bronzong for this generation in prior videos. And then, Tyranitar is always a heavy hitter. It's one of my favorites throughout any of the games. So... Just looking at that, I think it's good for competitive as well, as it's just one of those favorite picks. But if I'm looking at just design-wise, I really do like Suraledge over Armor Rouge, and I do like Miraidon over Coridon. So, I mean, it really, at the end of the day, all just comes down to preference. However, if I was going to pick one that I thought was better if you're going to strategically pick a game for competitive, I would say that Scarlet has a bit of the edge there. We can't really guarantee if Coridon or Miraidon will be good uh, in a restricted competitive format or not. So it is interesting to, to look at these two. And if I was had to pick one that was better... I would say Scarlet. But just because one version may have a little bit of a competitive edge over the other as far as the exclusive Pokemon that it's offering, it doesn't mean that that's the version that I'm going to get. So for me personally, I'm actually going to get Pokemon Violet. The reason is, I always get the second title of the games. So with Red and Blue, I got Blue. And that just happened to be because I like Blastoise better than Charizard. And then the same thing with Gold and Silver. I like Lugia better. Um, with Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, I actually didn't own Ruby or Sapphire. My uh, two brothers ha each had a version. And I did end up playing my uh, youngest brother's version of 
Sapphire. And then after that, I also picked Pokemon Pearl. And from that point on, and those were all kind of just because those were my favorites. But from that point on, I just kind of commit to picking the second one each time. So I got Pokemon White and I got um, Pokemon Y. Uh, Pokemon X and Y was actually one of the ones where, well, the only one where I really kind of thought about maybe I'll get X just because I like the idea of a Pokemon game called Pokemon X. But I still, I stuck to my guns and got Pokemon Y. And then, so Sun and Moon, I got Moon and then Ultra Moon. And then Pokemon Shield. And so now I'm going to do the same and get Pokemon Violet. And honestly, the exclusives don't matter all that much to me. Because especially like the ones that aren't legendary. And I do like Miraidon better. And I do like Suraledge, which is the new... Pokemon better so that that does give Violet an edge for me plus the other ones I it'll be really easy to trade and get the other Pokemon plus the way the multiplayer is you can go into someone else's game and you can go catch those Pokemon as well so there's going to be a lot of opportunities to get those exclusive Pokemon so it doesn't really concern me all that much and it never really has which game has which exclusive I'm just going to pick whatever game is second or, you know, in the past before that, I just picked the one that had the cover that I liked. But that's all I got for you guys. But let me know what you guys are going to pick up in the comments. Are you going to get Pokemon Scarlet? Are you going to get Pokemon Violet? And did this video help you maybe decide which version you were going to get? But thank you so much for watching. You're all flawless. And I'll see you next time. Bye.